Welcome to the seventh part of our Magenta tutorial and today we will review Magenta 2 report section. At the report section we, we can see it divides into marketing, reviews, sales, customers, products and statistics. I will, I will probably start from statistic, statistics, refresh statistics. Over here we can refresh statistics for all our reports. It will be useful for you in case you want to refresh this for as now and see actual data and actual statistics for current time. You can refresh lifetime statistics or you can refresh statistics for the day. What's the difference? Usually Magenta statistics refresh each midnight. But if for some reason you have outrage with your hosting company or cron task didn't run, then it will be better to refresh lifetime statistics to have all days and all months up to date. Or if it's if you worried about existing days, current day statistics, you can refresh statistics for the last day. So let's go back. Marketing. At the marketing we have products and car statistics report and search terms report, abandoned cars report, newsletter problems report. Products, products and cart report show you report about how many products we have in cart, what's the price, how many orders, and so on. Search terms report shows statistics and report about what search terms we have at our store, how many hits on it, and what are results. We can see reports from our previous tutorial. Also, we can see abandoned cars. So, at this statistic, we will see if customer have something in their cart and they left it and they went for any other website, but the cars still safe. And here we can see the report about cart items. Quantity, some total, coupons, and we can see IP address, and email, and customer account. If someone has issues with newsletter, we can see it at this report. It will be a subscriber, Newsletter start date, newsletter queen subject, newsletter error code, and text. Also, we can look at the reviews. We can see report of reviews by customer. In our example, we don't have any customer who left a review. But we can also see reviews by product. Over here, we can see product, number of reviews, average, average approved of reviews and last review date. This way we can open, we can click show reviews and see all reviews for this product. And if you can see it switches to marketing user content review stuff. But we're going back to reports and we look at the sales order report. Over here we can select when date used, is it order reader date or order updated date. We can choose period, which is month, day or year. We can and then we, we have to select date range for our report. We can select if you want to see some specified order status set or we can look at the, all of them. We can select do we want to show empty rows where will be empty values. And if you will want to see values as for now, we need to select show extra values to yes. So basically this report will show you about order orders reports, about sales item, what total sales, what avoidance amount, refunded amount, sales tax amount sales shipping amount, sales discount amount, and cancel. So let's try to put by the day, and let's do from February 1st to February 29th. 
and here we, we go we can see interval if date range as we selected and we can see values aggregate, aggregate values for this date range the next report is tax report we have same columns over here so where we can put our selection so let's select date and see how various credit and we can see based on the day we can see tax amount tax name tax rate orders number so this way we will be able to make good tax reports we can also also export it to csv or excel xml we can look at the invoice orders here it will be pretty similar information according to the filters but we will see order amount invoiced orders total invoiced paid invoiced and unpaid invoiced same way we can look at the shipping report which will give us carriers method orders total sales shipping amount total shipping amount let's check if you have any shipping at the demo store so here we go we have two days we have carrier play trade fix it and myth orders we have total sales shipping amount and total sales shipping and same applies to refunds let's see if you have refunds at the demo store yeah we have two of them we, we can see total refunded amount how many orders refunded online refund and offline refunds i hope you know that online refunds it's what you have been refunded using your gateway and offline refunds it's refunds which was done only in magenta and you have to do something else at your gateway to refund the money we can see coupon code usage report so let me select date and you can see it was few few coupons applied for our orders next we can also get paypal settlement reports we can click future dates and it means that we will connect to paypal sftp server to review any reports so and then they will appear at our report grid we won't do right now because we can use demo store and sandbox PayPal credentials. Customers. We can look at the customers order totals, customer order count, and new order for customers. We don't have any new orders by customers. And same for order customer order count report. We don't have anything here is because no one customer placed order at the demo store and also we don't have any information for order to the report but usually you'll see here interval customer name number of orders average number of orders and total amount this way you can find out how much your customer spent and give them additional or specified discount products we can look at the product view. At the product view report, we can specify date and see what was most viewed products for our store. As for now, we can see it's the product just Kangaroo hoodie. It's and we can see price and number of views. Of it. Also, we can specify best sellers products. This way, we open best sellers product report. We select dates and we can see what our products used to be the sellers in our date range. And we can see product list, we can see interval, price, and order quantity. Also, we can see our stock reports. If some item will be low stock, it will appear at this report and you will be able to see and update stock on it or order or order new items from manufacturer to update your stock. Order products report will show us a report about uh, products and order quant orders quantity of these products, which includes this product. And per interval, we will set it as a filter. 
and downloads report if we use downloadable products. Here we can see what link and what product is it, what SKU and how many purchases and how many downloads from it. From it. And the last point is statistic, which we already have reviewed. So the report here is mostly looks same and similar to Magento 1 version. They reorganize it, regrouped, and then make more sense right now in terms of understanding. And I hope you will use them a lot. And this tutorial will help you to learn Magento 2 admin reports. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put comments with it. We will be glad to help you and explain anything more about it. Thank you and have a good day.